Hello everyone, welcome back, thanks for tuning in. This weekend is the ARRL VHF contest weekend, and I've had a plethora of antennas set up out here, but I want to show you this one again. You may have remember seen this in the past in December 2020. VHFloops.com had sent me this, and I made a video overview on it, but I never showed it in action. Let me tell you guys, I got a few clips here. I didn't record everything I did on this VHF contest weekend. But let me tell you, I'm gonna take this loop down because the contest pretty much over. I'm gonna show you about it. I'm gonna cut in some clips on what I did. This thing is a mini rock star. A six meter CNC machined aluminum loop tuned right there at the capacitor with the nylon screws. There's a gap in between. It is a very, very precise tuning because it's very high Q. Now, I had this thing up a couple days ago before the contest, up at the mast, uh, carbon fiber mast here. I've been using this a lot lately. This carbon fiber mast and tripod is about two years old, and I don't have my tower set up yet. Look, there's my tower, right? Still haven't got that set up. It's gonna one day, I'm gonna have it set up. But in the meantime, this thing being portable like this, you can really do a lot with it. And what I've also done is I put up my old miss, the old man, the Kushcraft 13V2 for two meter action. Did some two meter FT8, two meter sideband. Uh, that thing has been parked behind the shed for a couple of years and man, I put them two halves back together. Wouldn't you know, it was still 1.11 to one SWR at the two meter calling frequency on sideband, 144.200. And uh, I was using that and I had also set this up. This is the radio waves Quasar, the dual band cubicle quad. That's another video. I put that together. My wife helped me. It's four elements on two meters, seven elements on UHF. I 3D printed my own little thing there for the feed point. I'll show you that later. But um, that thing worked pretty well. But I had to try everything. So we'll give you another video on that. In the meantime, let me show you this awesome little VHF six meter magnetic loop. Ham Radio Concepts is brought to you by HamRadioPrep.com. It's never been easier to learn about ham radio before you take the exam. And Ham Radio Prep makes it fun and guarantees your success. Visit HamRadioPrep.com. Use the code ERIC20 to instantly save 20% off every course you buy. Remember the name, HamRadioPrep.com. All right, let's check this out here. This is the 6MF 6 meter magnetic loop. It is not that big. It's about maybe the size, a little bit bigger than a basketball hoop. All right, dimensions are on the website. It's about 1.2 pounds, 1.4 pounds. I think they said it's not heavy at all. Now this can be oriented two ways. You could use this horizontal like I had it. And I just use zip ties because it kind of leaves it open on how you want to mount this thing or you can do it vertically. Can it be used tabletop like this? Well, absolutely, if, if it was for vertical rather. But if you see, um, you see the, the discs here, so that is where you tune it. There's nylon screws, and I want you to know something, that turning one of these nylon screws, maybe a millimeter or two, is the difference between 1.5 to one and five to one. It's very, very high Q, it's a very sharp tuning. Um, I don't think this would be recommended for mobile because if this thing moves just the slightest bit, forget it. The, uh, you know, it's, it's the way a magnetic loop works. Good thing about that is you focus all your energy on transmit and all your receive on that frequency where you have it tuned, which gives you a lot more uh, gain than you would have in a broadband antenna. Okay. Now, I was using this with 10 watts and I was making contacts all over the United States. I got a few of them on video that I can show you some FT8, some phone, okay? Um, but so those nylon screws, and you'll, you'll see here that, that those two discs there are not even between each screw, and that's okay. You get them about even, you have to have an analyzer for this because you may be way off and you'll be screwing those things all day. Um, and you wanna get that to where, it, you know, like I said, when I got to the point where this one on the back right here, or this one on the top, well, I was just tweaking this in and out to get that resonant. Doesn't matter if this one's a little bit closer than this. Whatever it took to get it resonant is what I did. Uh, you can, like I said, use it vertical. You know, if you wanted to use it like that for FM operation. 
this right here, uh, I, you know, I forget what you call this. I, I've read it before. There's, what, a coupler, a coupling loop, or I, I forget. Um, there's two pieces to that, and I lost the other one. Now, I'm wondering what the difference was. I lost the manual and the other piece. There was a, a match. I think they had a gamma match or something, and it actually took this off. It bolted into one of these sides with the screw, and then you adjusted it. So a different match. Now, I lost that piece, but it did come with one. This is the one I originally put on here. You can see it got bent a little bit, but it seemed to work. I, I'm curious on what would happen with the other match that I don't have. Um, but maybe you have a comment, leave it below and let me know. So anyways, uh, let me show you a couple of clips on this thing. And, and it's just, it's, it's really a great antenna. I'm kind of sad that he sent it to me a couple years ago and I really didn't show it in operation. So it's only owed to know that with all the antennas I had this weekend, this was the one that outperformed that Chameleon Delta Loop on six. I had the impasse set up for a minute. It, this thing blew it away. It really did. I think they're like $129 at the time of this video. Well worth it. People, you can make your own loop, but the I think this is the only one I've seen that's got that cool, you know, CNC style machining. They also have a two meter loop. I'd like to check that one out if you're interested in it. Maybe email the creator and say, hey, get Eric one of those two meter loops so I could check that out as well. Because if this did, if a two meter loop does anything as good as this one did, it'll be way better than that 13 element right there. Because this thing was just, just astounding. The signals that were coming in on contest day, wow. Kilo Juliet, 40 Yankees, Zulu, India. Very good. You're Echo Lima 97. Roger. Yes, Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu India, QRP Echo Lima 97. Uh, okay, Kilo 4, Kilo Juliet 4, uh, Yankee India. Yeah. Quebec, Yankee, India, was it over? Negative. Kilo, Juliet, 4, Yankee, Zulu, India, YZI. Roger. Okay, we got the YZI now. K5LLL, Echo Mike 10, you're grid. Echo Lima 97, QRP. Echo Lima 97, QRP. Thank you much. Good luck. Good luck, 7-3. Got a uh, Whiskey 5, Papa Romeo, Echo Lima 2-9. It's just pouring in. Look at the signals on there. That little tiny loop. Let's see what I got here. There's another station here. WB5TUF and Echo Lima 29. Alright. This Rig Expert AA2000 is just cool, amazing. Again, great analyzer from Rig Expert. That right there is for 50.3. That's about as close as I can get the SWR at just about the FT8 frequency. And I can see if I go down and up, it's it's very high Q. Let me show you. Let me go like this. We're going to SWR chart. And I'll sleep it. Watch. Look at the, look how narrow that is, right? That's high Q. That gives you all your efficiency right there where it's tuned, all right? So it, it is safe to assume that if you want to go from sideband to FT8, you're going to have to tweak it a little bit and you got to tweak it in very, very small increments. Let's go here, all parameters, start, all right? Almost 50 ohm right there has to be our 1.06 to one. Return loss is 31 dB. And uh, gives you an idea of what we're looking at, okay? Yeah, that's the VR meter one more time. Right there in real time, okay? 1.06 to 1. All right, so I got it tweaked now. I went out there, dropped it, tuned the SWR. Watch this. Look at that. It's flat. Flat. So that's it on the 6 meter loop, but 
We got this here, the Radio Waves Cubicle Quad. I want to check that out in a video for you. And, um, you know, if you're interested, people have been asking all of a sudden now, where did you get that tripod? Where did you get that carbon fiber mask? They are a little bit pricey. Gigaparts had originally sent this to me as a gift a couple years ago when they first got them. And I've been beating the crap out of this thing. It's been in the sun over two years now because, like I said, when I started moving in, I lived in a trailer an RV for a little bit. I had nowhere to put a tower. This thing was everything for me. I brought it to field day. Nothing's rusting on it. I mean, it's it's all working good. The link is in the description, and if you look at the top of the page, there's a 5% discount for Gigaparts if you use the code HRC, uh, or it's on the top of the page. You gotta check it out. They'll give you a a, a discount there on this. They have uh, longer ones, and they have fiberglass as well. This is the carbon fiber, and the carbon fiber did not with this horizontal like that. The carbon fiber did not react with that beam. I think if it was vertical and it was right up along in between those elements, that might cause something. I'm not sure. I had this thing horizontal the whole time. That antenna is about four years old. I love that antenna. But, you know, someone that doesn't have room or want something that big, well, that's why I wanted to check this cubicle quad out. You know, the small form factor of that with some increased gain may be something that you're interested in so check it out more videos on the way thanks for watching this contest weekend was pretty cool i'm not a contester i am when it comes to hf i i can get zoned out and drill through thousands of contacts on a weekend for 20 meters or 17 or um, not 17 10 or whatever um but i just wanted to actually stay home and play on some vhf because all the six meter and two meter operators come out you'll see some of the contacts on two meters i was doing ft8 as well so those people didn't exist until the contest weekend. Funny how that works, right? 7-3.